fantastic voice and nice, nice looking yeah, that woman. Too. And we're going to listen to a little bit of, uh, it's called Little Boat. And she did this with Jerry Costanza. And uh, Jerry is really getting a good reputation to the country. As is, uh, pretty close, <laughs> as is uh, Giada. Giada has played at almost all in America, almost every performing art center that there is to play in. She's very proud to be Italian. She's a great ambassador to our Italian culture. And right now we're going to listen to this duet. <laughs> that sang that is like I said earlier we've been featuring her songs all during the show and she's one of Louis's favorites and that's Giada Valenti and I believe Gianna's on the phone with us Giada welcome to the Sicilian Corner what a pleasure to be here good morning to everybody thank you and it's a pleasure to be on your show Mike and the Sicilian Corner for as a Venetian girl I'm happy to be on the Sicilian Corner how about that no I think it's fantastic I think it's fantastic in the studio with me is my special uh, guest, uh, that's Peter Alfe, and Peter owns uh, a few businesses, one being an outstanding, an outstanding Italian restaurant in the North End. And say, say hello, Peter. Ciao, hello, Gianna. Peter. Ciao, Gianna. Buongiorno. Buongiorno, buongiorno anche a te. Do you speak Italian as well? Sì, si, certamente. Oh, man. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> and also for this second hour, we have uh, a young man, uh, who just came out with uh, a new company that he started, and one of the products is uh, Fabrizia Limoncello. And mm. 
His name is Phil Mastriani, and Phil, say hello to Gianna. Piacere a conoscerti, Gianna. Io parlo un po' italiano. I speak a little Italian. Oh, a little Italian. Very good, Phil. I'm very proud of you. <laughs> hey, listen, you know, the reason I, uh, I, I asked you to come on with us, first of all, I'm a big fan of yours. I, I love listening to your music. I love reading the good things that are happening with your career. Uh, and mm -hmm. we are really, fingers crossed, that we can bring you here to the Italian festival, uh, the Feast of the Three Saints, uh, at, at the end of August. And, uh, you know, again, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, how you came to the United States, and who you actually, who do you style yourself after? What, what singer do you kind of try to emulate? First of all, thank you for uh, loving my music, and uh, it would be uh, my pleasure to to to, uh, to come and sing at the festival that you were mentioned. I've never been to that side of the United States, the United States so I'm shy. I'm shy. I'm shy. I was called your neighbor. The, the place you are. Right. I'm sh I'm sure. Uh, you am sure. We draw. We're in northern Massachusetts. Our festival takes oh. place in Lawrence, Massachusetts. Uh, but we draw a lot of people from northern Mass. Uh, we're only 24 right. miles away from Boston. But we're also okay. on the New Hampshire border, so we draw a lot of people from New Hampshire. Uh, this is the 90th feast of the Three Saints. 90th. Wow. This is a <laughs> special, special, special year. We want to do it right, and we want to bring back Italian artists to appear at our feast. It's an Italian feast, and we are going to have Italian artists performing. We have right now almost 15 shows. We actually have 15 shows booked in three wow. days. So. Uh, Nothing would give me greater pleasure that we can make this happen. Uh, of course, it takes money, and, and that's yeah. what we're working on right now. I'm chairman of corporate fundraising, and uh, we're, we're, we, we're very uh, positive that we can make this actually take place. But again, I want to talk about you. Forget me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, who, who, what singer that do you try to style? What's your style? Who do you go after? Who do you try to imitate? Mm, but first of all, they always say, uh, I came to America invited by Clyde Davis to the record company. He said that I didn't sound like anybody else. He said that I had an original sound on my voice. But of course, as a performer, you know, you have some uh, singers and performers that you adore and you listen and you tend to go to, look, to sound a little bit or at least to emulate them or want to be them. And th there are so many, uh, my kid, to mention. I mean, uh, some are Italians that are not very famous say, in this country. Uh, female singer like Cornella Vanoni, Nina. Actually, if I perform in Italy, they always say that I remind uh, uh, a little bit of them, which are which is a compliment for me because I they're great singers and I always love them. Here yeah, in America, of course, uh, depending of uh, if they listen to my my CD, sometimes they say that uh, especially when I sing my original songs. I don't know if you ever play them, like Italian Signorina and Caruso. They said I sounded a little bit like Nora Jones. I, I, and I agree with that. I agree with that. Yeah, and that was one of the things that Clive Davis loved about my voice when I came here. Then when they come to my show, of course, I'm belting out a lot of songs and some other idols I have, and I'm glad that they said, oh, you remind me a little bit of our singers like Celine Dion, Shirley Bassey, uh, our singers with big voice, because in my CD I tend to use my soft sounds, which I adore very much, like in the little boat that you just played with Jerry Costanzo. Mm -hmm. It's a kind of bosom of a kind of sound, and I like to be very sweet. But I mean, of course, when you do show, you showcase more of your personality and your vocals. And now, of course, I can belt out very loud sounds. And sometimes the people that come to my show for the first time are kind of impressed about that. And they're like, wow, we were not expecting that. And it's a positive compliment that they do. But I have so many. I, lo I love the carpenters. I think the Karen Carpenters had an impressive, beautiful voice, and I love their music. That's why uh, at, my sh at my concert I always play tribute to them. There are so many. I, um, if, if you come to one of my concerts, I would do some French music as well. And Edith mm -hmm. Piaf, uh, which was the most famous uh, singer from France, uh, uh, is one of my idols as well. But, of course, I don't know if you can then say I am gay, but I love Dean Martin, I love Frank Sinatra. Mm -hmm. It's not a secret that Perry Como was the, my favorite crooner of love, so I do a lot of songs of Perry Como as well. Connie Francis is an iconic uh, figure of the Italian-American music. I don't sound at all like her, but of course I love the music. And every time, even though I sing a lot of songs from the past, I uh, I love to give a new spin. I mean, I... I have younger people in my audience that are not familiar with that music, so I try to, 
to give them the music of the past, to give them new theme and new um, arrangements. I always work hard with my musicians to create uh, a modern sound to songs from the past because I think they are incredible. It's incredible music, the one that uh, they 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 had in the 60s, the 70s, and even before that. But of course, it's 2013, and if you wanna have also a, a younger crowd, you have to give them what they are used to listen. So I I change the arrangement, and I think those beautiful unforgettable and timeless um, songs and, and so far I've been lucky enough that uh, the response of the audience has been great. I get an older generation coming that they remember those original songs and they come there and they of course I see the happiness in their face to hear again whole songs like uh, the Perry Como songs, the Connie Francis songs and and I see younger people say hey that's a new song for us and we love it so it's um I mean, I'm always saying it's a blast that I'm able to, to do that, and I feel so, so happy that I can bring uh, all the music uh, still around the world. Uh, I mean, even though, you know, I'm a songwriter myself, right. and I always right. like to, to write new music, because, I mean, we have to look forward as well. But uh, so it's, uh, th that's basically what, what I, uh, I try to bring the music of the past uh, to these days and to keep uh, making new music for the future. So basically it's what I'm trying to do. Well, you're doing a good job of it. And one thing that I say every time I listen to one of your albums is, first of all, you take me on a romantic journey through Italy without me having <laughs> to get on a plane and flying yeah. eight hours to get there. And whenever anybody can do that for me, I, I I, I think it's fantastic. You're saying it with a sparkle in your eyes. Yeah, I'm saying it with a sparkle <laughs> in my eyes. But I know, wish you could see the sparkle. <laughs> Giada, I, I, I really hope that we can do something and, and have you on board with us. Uh, and also, I would love to be able to get you on our radio show in the studio and, and be able to give you more time. Uh, the one thing I do want to say before I go out to break, uh, you are working on a play with uh, Phil Ramone and, uh, of course, Sonny Grasso. Uh, where are we with that play? I, I know uh, there were some financial issues. Uh, is that going to happen? They're still working. I mean, you know, to put it on Broadway, those kind of play it takes um, also 10 years it can take. I know I've been part of the project already for five years, and they've been working for eight. Wow. They are, uh, they're trying to, and even though we have big names on board, they are trying to find, uh, the, I think, the $5 million necessary to put them out. In the meantime, they keep uh, uh, changing. I mean, we keep working on the play. They keep adding sounds. And But, I mean, we did it uh, uh, two years ago. We did it at the TD Center in Long Island for yeah, 3,000 people. Yeah. It was just everything. And it was fantastic. The story, I mean, Mario Lanza had an incredible life. I mean, he was, certainly, he certainly did. Yes. So and the music I, is unforgettable. And, I mean, I hope it will really happen. It will be a, a huge thing for us, for the Italian and Italian-American to bring on Broadway such a, such a musical for sure. Well, you're a great ambassador uh, to our Italian culture, and please don't ever change. And I mean, I, I, I have uh, Italian DNA. Would you ever stop being proud of being an Italian? I don't think so. No, so. I don't think <laughs> so. Giada, I have to take a break. I wish I could give you more time, but you know something? I enjoy your music. I love your music. Thank you so and much. I, and I look forward to meeting you in person. Thank you so Me much. Me too. Thank you so I much. Wanna Thank you, Mike, and thank you to all your guests, uh, Pete and Steele and Lou. I, uh, I hope to get to meet you all very soon, and uh, thank you for, uh, for this time, and thank you for playing my music. All right, very good. Giada Valletti, everybody. Lou, why don't we go out the break?
Ma dormenta l'anima 